Aboard the schooner Stephen Tabor, which set sail from Rockland, Maine, the summer is completely booked. Schooner Stephen Tabor, Whiskey Delta Bravo. Something Captain Noah before. Barnes, like his parents before him, ushering in guests. Welcome aboard the Stephen Tabor. We're going to have a great time. Vacationers pay just over $300 a night to eat, drink, and sleep aboard. Two, six, three. And pitch in. Hoist the stage risel. We've got pilots, and we've got lab techs, and we've got plumbers, and we've got cable installers. It's everybody. So business is good. So business is good. Americans' summer travel budgets are up, up 18% overall from last year, and travelers are hungry for experiences. My cell phone went off and just got thrown into the, the cabin, and it was just wonderful. Below deck. Today I'll be cooking breakfast for about 26 people, including crew. And, yeah, just another morning in paradise. <laughs> Chef Gray Lidiker serves it up. We're having blueberry Dutch baby. Oh. We're having a maple sausage that is um, from a small farm in Iowa. What's this job like? Well, it's basically cooking all day long <laughs> inside of a shaking box. You must love boats. Yes, yes. It's a prerequisite for the job is must love boats. Fenders, please. For Captain Barnes, rising costs are a challenge he has to pass on to passengers. I don't worry about our product. I worry about staffing. I worry about the cost of materials. Do customers balk at the higher prices or they're still coming? We haven't seen a dip. I don't think we've met the place where people are resistant to pay it, but we don't want to find that spot. To maintain crew, he has raised wages. Even still, Chef Gray and several deckhands live aboard when they aren't sailing, housing costs on the mainland out of reach. I couldn't find anything. It was uh, phenomenally expensive, so staying on the boat just made economic sense. Gray sleeps here, under the stairs. You can learn a lot about today's economy aboard a 115-foot wooden schooner built when Ulysses Grant was president. Finish the sentence for me. The American economy is... Seems to be doing just fine from where we're sitting. Well, there's something about this experience, being outside, being in good company, sort of reminds people the important things. It's good company, there's good food, there's cool boats. A contrast on deck. For so many, affordability a challenge, even while travel and leisure are booming. Christine Romans, NBC News, Rockland, Maine. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.